So in this video I'm going to show you how to resource remap or motor mix or just basically change any pin to another pin on any beta flight flight controller. Now what am I talking about or why would you want to do this? So let's just say you had a, a drone with four ESCs on the arm and let's just say your motor three ESC signal wire to the flight controller broke off and you can't resolder it on but you have two other motor um, pinouts left on your board, like let's just say you had motor 5 or motor 6, you can actually move motor 3 to either motor 5 or motor 6 and then change it in beta flight. In my case, I have a 4-in-1 ESC, which the board is actually upside down and inverted 180 degrees, which is basically making the motor outputs in a weird, funky order. What am I talking about? Let me give you an example. Let's connect this over to beta flight. Now you want to make sure you have no props on here because you don't want to get hurt injured. And you want to go ahead and connect your micro USB to your PC and then connect the LiPo. So connect to Betaflight. We want to click on motors and turn this tab on. I understand the risk. And let's try out which one is motor one. So as you can see right here, motor three is actually spinning, which this should, I mean, this is motor one according to beta flight, but this should technically be motor three. So on the side, we're gonna put down motor one equals three. Now let's try out motor number two. So this one is motor two. So motor two equals number four. And then motor three is over here. So three equals one. And I'm pretty sure this other one's gonna be two, but let's try it out. And then this one is number four. Okay, so now that we got that figured out, we want to go ahead and just disconnect your light bulb. And then we want to go over to the CLI. And you want to type this command. You want to type in resource. And this should tell you all your resources. So right here, I have motor 1 as B00, motor 2 as B01, motor 3 as A03. And in motor 4, it's B05. So I'm just going to move this off to the side. And we're going to rewrite this. So because motor 1 is technically motor 3, we're going to change what the current beta flight setup is. It is... Alrighty, so here's what Betaflight currently is set up to. We basically need to switch all of these. So the new Betaflight setup is going to be, remember one was three, so we're basically going to switch these two. So this will now be A03. Number two was technically number four. So we're gonna change this to B05. Number three was technically one, so this will be B04. And then this last one, oops, this should be the other way around. So two, or number four was technically number two, so this will be B01. So this is gonna be our new layout. So let's go back to the CLI. And we wanna go and type in resource motor one, none. Want to do the same thing, but motor two equals none. Resource motor three, none. Resource motor four, 
none. And then now we are all of these have now been allocated to nothing. So we're now going to retype this in this order. So we're going to type in resource motor one is a03 resource motor two is b05 resource motor three is b04 oops sorry this should be resource motor three should be I wrote this wrong this was zero and now this should be zero B zero zero and then resource motor four B zero one and then now we want to save reconnect go back to our motor output let's bring back our drone plug in our lipo and let's test this out see if it's in the right order now so I understand the wrist motor one this one should spin number two now this one should spin Number three, this one should spin. And then number four, this one should spin. And that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. If you have any other questions on any other videos or just any questions in general, just please leave a comment down in the down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.